The code factory allows you to easily generate code starting from a module or entity. For example, you can create a module instance, list all of its ports as signals, or even create a small testbench stub. The code factory works with one module or entity as input. To set it, right click on its name and go to code factory, set factory input. Information and error messages are shown in the status bar. The current input persists until a new one is set or until a full build is invoked. To instantiate the module, right-click in the file where you want to create a new instance and choose Code Factory, Create Instance. Let's suppose you also want to declare the signals needed to connect this instance elsewhere in the file. Right-click, choose Code Factory, Create Signals. To create an entire testbench stub, choose Code Factory Create Testbench. This will instantiate the module inside a TB wrapper. Declare all signals required to connect the new instance, reset them, and also insert a simple clock generator. You can entirely customize the output of the Code Factory by using free marker templates. For example, you can iterate through all the ports and parameters of the factory's input module, use their name, direction or type, and choose exactly how to print them. To use a template, right-click in the editor where you want to generate code, and go to Code Factory Create from Template. Note that most recently used templates are directly available in the context menu.